Cleaning classrooms is one of the most important tasks for school custodians. Today we'll learn how to clean a classroom with H2 Orange 2 Concentrate 117. This product will clean all the surfaces in your classroom, from glass to carpet to desktops. To clean a classroom, you'll need green light duty spray bottle, red heavy duty spray bottle, green light duty in a mop bucket, wet floor sign, dust mop or broom and dustpan, trash can liners, paper towels, high duster, vacuum. We'll be following these simple steps to classroom cleaning. We'll use red heavy duty on all heavy touch points and green light duty on all glass and floors. Let's get started. Step one, dust. Use your high duster to clean high shelving and surfaces paying close attention to vents, air returns, and window sills. Step two, remove trash. Empty any pencil sharpeners and pick up any loose trash. Remove full trash bags and replace with a fresh liner. Step three, clean glass. Use the light duty green in a spray bottle to clean glass, mirrors, stainless steel, and all other shiny surfaces. Use clean paper towels or microfiber on glass to ensure streak-free results. Leave glass wet. Product will dry streak-free. If streaks occur, clean glass with heavy duty dilution to remove residue. Then resume daily cleaning with light duty. Step four. Clean desktops and other touch points. Using heavy duty red, wipe down all desktops, door handles, phones, light switches, and other heavy touch points. For delicate surfaces like light switches, spray your towel first, then wipe. Once the surface has been cleaned, spray it again and leave wet for five minutes to achieve sanitizer viricidal kill claims. Allow surface to air dry. Clean whiteboards and chalkboards. Use light duty green to spray and wipe down any whiteboards or chalkboards, unless the teacher marks it otherwise. Use heavy duty red if marks are difficult to remove. Step six, clean carpets. If your classroom has any carpeted areas, vacuum them. Then use heavy duty to spot clean any new stains. Scrape up any surface soils, spray the spot thoroughly, and then blot it with a paper towel or microfiber towel. Step seven, sweep. Pick up all trash and sweep floors thoroughly, taking care to get into corners. If using a dust mop, sweep in a figure eight pattern, leading with one edge of the mop. Step eight, mop. Before you get any water on the floor, place a wet floor sign at the front of the classroom. With your mop bucket of light duty green, Begin mopping at the back of the classroom. Mop the edges of the classroom, then mop the entire floor thoroughly, backing your way out. Regularly wring out your mop and change the water when it's dirty. You can use traditional string mops or microfiber mops with this process. Leave wet floor sign in place until floor is completely dry. Thanks for watching.